Hello friends, I have a one scenario, I have a one restful service in my Pega application and all other applications can consume this service. So as per my client requirement, I want to allow only few domains, okay, so other domains I should not allow to consume my service because this is my website name is for example SBI application assuming okay, SBI bank.com assuming this is my application and that application is having one service only SBI card.com loans.sbi.com or uh, I mean um, sbilive.com only these applications can consume or can send a request to my service i have to stop i have to stop other domains for example if the icici bank is trying to consume my service i have to stop to them or access bank etc etc so ultimately I want to allow only limited domains or only few domains. I have to stop the other domains to consume my service. This is nothing but I don't want to allow from other domains. How can we achieve this in Pega? So in Pega, we have a one rule call it as a cross origin resource sharing cross origin resource sharing in other terminology i mean this is equivalent to there is a one more terminology call it as a csrf cross site request forgery cross site request forgery for example if other other applications or other domains or other websites if they want to send a request to your applications they must have sent a token this is nothing but a cross site request forgery this is also more or less like that only cors cross origin resource sharing so in pega the current requirement i mean whatever the requirement our client is asking we can achieve that by using this rule usually we will we will never come across these rules usually we won't touch these rules also even we will never explore these rules as well why because this is related to the security rules because this is only one time configuration we are not we are not uh, making any changes on a daily basis etc this is a one time configuration while designing your application in the security perspective because we have to take the precautions on the security side right okay you have successfully designed your pega applications but as part of the security checks also you have to take care of it all these things so let's open let's open this cross origin resource sharing because as a developer as a developer you must understand each and everything boss open this cross origin resource sharing rule So by default, your Pega application is come up with some set of cross origin resource sharing rules. So by default, how many number of rules? Okay, allow all origins, API headers allowed, default, etc. Okay, these are the existing existing CORS rules. Let's open any one of the rules or you can create your own rule also see this one policy definition allow credentials allowed origins maximum age allowed methods allowed headers and exposed headers that means uh, some other application from some other domain is trying to send a request to your service or your application or 
to your something i mean some service etc you can restrict it here you can restrict here see here allowed origin star means all but what i am going to do no but anyhow i cannot test it here i cannot test it here but here you can mention it as a sbi.com or sbilive.com etc or star.sbilive.com from a subdomains perspective also like this uh, you can add n number of origins from you can add n number of origins from where you want to allow the from where you want to allow to consume your service allowed origins allowed origins you can add n number of domains okay from these domains only i can accept the request not from all other domains resource see this one cross origin resource sharing resources resources okay next one is maximum age indicates how long the results of a pre flight request can be cached how much time the data can be present in the cache and allowed methods okay i can allow i can expose or i can allow only get method i don't want to allow post method put method patch method delete method etc i can allow only get method so you can select get method okay other applications from the other domain can send only these headers apart from these headers i cannot accept all other headers see this one comma separated list of request headers allowed to be sent to this api to be sent to this api only these accepted only these allowed headers should pass from the other domain to your service apart from this i won't consider i won't accept allowed headers See, very simple usually lsl lss will take care of it all these things okay but remember this point as a developer as a developer don't care whether lsa or cwsa or csa whatever the knowledge you have whatever the maximum information you can gain it from a pega application that is your ultimate goal okay this is not our task this is lsa task okay even if it is lsa task also will you wait for next 5 years or will you wait for next 7 years until you get 7 years experience or 5 years experience not like that okay as much as information when you have a time explore the pega tool and gain a knowledge that's it expose headers this one see comma separated list of response headers clients of this api can access only i can send only these response headers i can send only these response headers apart from these headers i cannot apart from these exposed headers that means uh, only my api can send these types of headers only that's why comma separated list of responses clients of this api can access so you can restrict the headers uh, you can restrict the methods uh, and you can restrict the domains uh, and you can also if you want you can allow the credentials if you don't want to allow the credentials any of the credentials from other domains you just uncheck this one sorry check this one if you don't want to allow you just simply uncheck it like this uh, cross origin resource sharing okay so in this way you can restrict uh, other applications from other domains to access your application resources uh, this is very very important as part of the security perspective i hope you understand this is a simple rule in pega thank you